How's it going guys and welcome to another how to video on Gold Rush Alaska. So in the previous video I showed you guys how to set up a tier 1 wash plant. In today's video I'm going to show you how to automate part of that system to make it a bit more efficient which at the end of the day means more gold and more money. So first thing we need to do is head over to the shop. So we're going to do that. Alright, we are coming up to the shop and we have got not too much to buy to be honest and luckily it's not too expensive but it really does make quite a difference in the speed that you can operate on a small tier one uh, wash plant so the first thing that we need is a small diesel water pump so we're going to grab one of those we're going to need a hog pan pump so we're going to grab one of those we are going to need a fat water hose we are going to need a thin water hose. We are going to need one jerry can. And we are going to need at the back here, one water filter. Beautiful. So we need to pay for that. And that is $464. The order. And everything should be ready for us here. So what we're going to do is we are going to get all of this loaded up onto the pickup. We are going to take the jerry can down the road to the gas station down there, fill it up and head over to the claim. And when we get there, I will show you guys what to do with your brand new goodies. All right, back at the claim and we are going to get this all set up real quick. And this really is a big step for a tier one wash plant. It does make things a lot more efficient and just speeds up the process immensely which is fantastic it's always great spending money on things like that that just makes life life a lot easier so we're going to throw our diesel can out there we are going to grab our hog pan and we're going to put that down there this one we can throw out and that can be resold all the way up there massive frame drops there but Unfortunately, that is gold rush for you. So we're going to stick that on there. And we are going to take our pump. Uh, we'll put our pump down here. You can put it just about wherever you want. Uh, just not too far away. Otherwise, your hoses won't reach. But you can put extensions on them to a point. Uh, next thing we're going to need is the big hose. And we are going to stick that on the pump. So over here, you'll see there's an out and there's an in. Obviously, we want to put this one on the in because that's going to go into there. Uh, make sure that it's submerged. Uh, what is with the frames? Game, please. There we go. Okay, next thing we need is uh, the filter. It will not work without that filter on there. And now we need to connect the pump to the actual hog pan to make this whole thing work. So grab your thin hose at the back there there's a connector and over here you can connect it to either this side or that side uh, we'll just go there beautiful so that is that connected up which is fantastic and over here on the pump that is your start and that is your off so um, what we need is our diesel and if you look at the diesel can there's a red line let's get that in the sun um, there's a red line on the side of the diesel can that is your indicator of how much fuel is in there So we are gonna top that up And as you can see it did not use much so we're gonna leave that over there and start that up and There we go. We have got a running system, which is fantastic. So what you can do now is just dig and fill all of your bars up there up to 100% so you don't have to stop every so often to throw in some buckets of water into the system so that literally just automates the water side uh, of things and it makes things a lot simpler and we'll turn that off something else that I wanted to show you which I find a bit more efficient especially with this system because the thing is with these pumps you don't want to run them too long because they do use diesel obviously when they're running and also they have got a filter on them that needs replacing every so often so you want to run it only when you absolutely need to and obviously shoveling uh, does take quite a while so you're going to burn through a bit of fuel so what i would suggest you do is grab your two buckets that you start off with in your tent over there 
and go down to the shop and buy another three buckets. So about five buckets works well in my experience. You can have 20 buckets, whatever you want. Um, so grab your buckets and fill them up and then line them up over there. So if you've got five buckets or 10 buckets or 20 buckets, doesn't matter. And you can dig out of any of this area that you really want to line them up here. And there is another bucket that I prepared, uh, prepared earlier. So now what you can do is start up your pump and drop your buckets in there. And each bucket is three shovel loads. And we also found a nugget there. So that, if you've got five buckets lined up there, that would be the same as 15 shovel loads. And that makes the process a lot quicker and you can use a lot more or a lot less diesel. And yeah, you can dig around and you don't have to run up and down. It's quite easy in the beginning to just dig around here. But as soon as this sort of runs out, you need to start, need, uh, need to start moving away from that system and you'll need to run up and down. So buckets do make that a lot easier. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and possibly even consider checking out my other content. But that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.